Hey guys, looks like I'm live. Um, I just wanted to jump on real quick because I was inspired by something that one of my girlfriends said the other night. I thought, you know, everybody needs this reminder. And since you guys are in the business of attracting a great guy, and I know you're gonna nail it, and I know you're gonna find him, but I want to remind you to make him work for it. Make him work for it. Men value, and this is why, while widely known, this I didn't make this up, you guys. Men value what they have to work for. So if you're too easy and too accommodating and going out of your way and doing all these things in the dating stages, plus probably having sex with him, he's not. He's bored with you. I'm going to tell you right now that is boring, AF, and he's going to be like. You know, he still might be showing up because he might be having fun. This could be fun. He might have like having sex with you. He, that might be interesting to him too, but it's boring. It doesn't ignite that in love mechanism that happens when it, inside of a man. When a man has to work for you and he has to wonder where you are and he has to, um, Navigate your moods and your feelings. Yeah, this is one thing that us women think that is such a bad thing and like we have to just be easygoing and happy all the time. When they have to navigate your moods and feelings, you elicit something inside of them. Something inside of them is awakened. It's awakened. And they start to feel. And the feel comes from being around you. Does that make sense? But when we're too easy, too overgiving, too accommodating, just doing whatever, oh, sure, that's fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Swing from a chandelier, awesome. Drive four hours to see you, great. I'll do that every week. This is what I'm talking about. Just recently, my girlfriend met a guy for the very first time. The very first time. Never met him before. It was an online thing and she says, and I know she, <laughs> I know she knows that she made a mistake because she says to me, oh, I said, well, she was still driving like long after the date. I'm like, she drove to him. I know she did. And I said, so, um, where'd you meet? And she says how oh, we met over by his area. I guess they're like an hour apart. And I said, oh, well, he came into town to days early from his trip because he wanted to see me and he was really really tired and I said oh no worries I'll drive to you and I'm like and I could tell she she was like kind of slowing down on her words when she was telling me because she's like oopsie she gets so caught up in uh he came into town you know she he doesn't even know her they've never met in person this man is not in love with you he might think you're cute and he might be having fun and he might be excited that this might eventually turn into some booty. So he's going to come into town early and you're like, well, may, not all men think like that. Eventually they're going to want the booty y'all. There's, there's this plan that leads up to the boot. Okay. And he's going to come in town. Yeah. He might be excited about you. He could be needy. We don't know. We don't know yet, but to go, Oh, my heart's a flutter because he came back into town early for me. No, that's not doing it. That's not cutting it. You don't just start going out of your way and becoming super accommodating for those type of things. You let him work for you. And this isn't being a bitch. This is not about being a bitch. This is just letting him take the lead in the relationship. Letting him call first, letting him make the plans, letting him pay for a couple of meals. And then eventually you can match his calls and you can match making the plans and you can match maybe paying for a meal here and there. You see what I'm saying? This is, do you, do you hear what I'm saying? I said match. I didn't say go overboard and do everything. At some point in a relationship, a man is going to pull back for a minute because he's going to want to like evaluate what's happening here, especially if he's feeling a lot from you. And if he's feeling a lot from you, he's going to start pulling back at some point. At that stage, what do we do? Oh my God, we put on our running shoes and our headbands and our, our wristbands and our water bottle and we go chasing after him. We go running after him because we're like, <gasps> we feel the pullback and we think it's something we did wrong. So we try to up our game, which pushes him way 
away more. I'm telling you guys, this is like the craziest dynamic, but it's so true. It's so true. All right. I'm going to leave you guys with that. All right. I love you all. I hope the dating is going amazing for you. Don't forget you matter. And uh, if you've got some uh, neediness going on, some desperation going on, you must heal that ish first before you get out into the dating world because it is going to show up and it's not going to show up in a positive way. I promise. Much love to you. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and share and comment and ring the little bell and give me the big, big, huge blue thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Bye.